How you doing, guys? Hi. Today is Friday the 13th. 13th. All day. All night. Exactly. Oh, I stole your line. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, this week, I got a bunch of stuff from Savers, eBay, J2H, and Lewis Switcher. Like a stack on the floor. like. Oh, yeah. Good size. But uh, hey, you said. we're just going to dive right in, and I'll show you everything I got. Uh, I'm going to do Savers first. Savers, this was probably back a couple weeks ago. Uh, more than a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks. Uh, That's giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, probably Go almost. With it. I think it was like the beginning of August, end of July, when they had a fifty percent off sale. You get any Christmas? Uh, maybe we'll <laughs> find out. But uh, this stuff has been sitting on the shelf for a while with uh, a little bit of a uh, down to movie package that we got. Those were a little bit of a priority. Yeah, it took a little bit of a priority, so this got pushed to the wayside. So we're just going to dive right in, and I'll show you everything. Uh, first one is oh. a Walt Disney film. I read the book. With uh, Dave Matthews. <laughs> but uh, it's Where the Red Fern Grows on DVD. I've never seen it. Have you read the book? No. Never mind. <laughs> a classic tale becomes a classic film. Fans of the novel won't be disappointed. So, I decided I'm going to pick it up. It was meant. Check it out. Hopefully it's good. If it's not good, at least Marie will like it. Next one. I never had this film in my collection. But it I looks fun. And I love musicals. And this yeah, is... Gentlemen uh, Prefer Blondes with Marilyn Monroe and uh, Jane Russell. So, I decided I was going to pick this one up. Like I said. I like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. And like I said, this this was a, a really cool release. And like I said, I, I love uh, musicals. And like I said, musicals from this time period, the 50s and the 60s, I really enjoy. Next one. This movie... I never heard. I never heard of it, and it seems like after she played Captain Marvel, a lot of movies were her in. She just started popping up in movies. Exactly, and <clears throat> I never realized that she made anything else besides Captain Marvel. But it's uh, Room with Brie Larson, one of a kind must see experience. Uh, four Academy Award nominations for Best Picture. Actress, director, screenplay. Cool. But I decided I'll check it out. See what it's all about. You know, came with a nice slip cover. So, for 50% off, I'm going to give it a shot. See if it's worth keeping. Nice artwork. And making the bookcase. Next one, I was super excited about this one. And it was mint. I was shocked. And it's Saturday Morning Cartoons. Volume 1 from uh, 1970s cartoons. This is pretty cool. It's a two-disc set, 12 shows. It has Batman, uh, the Jetsons, Yogi Bear, Hong Kong Fooey, Scooby-Doo, and Josie and the Pussycats. But, you saw Scooby-Doo and you're like, ooh. Yeah, once I saw Scooby-Doo <laughs> and I saw Hong Kong Fooey, because I loved Hong Kong Fooey when I was a kid. Me and my uncle used to watch it when Can't I was a kid. Can't say I've seen too many of them. When I was a little kid, so. Hong Kong Fooey and Scooby-Doo I'm, I'm the most excited about. But all of uh, these cartoons, I actually enjoyed them when I was a kid. So I was super excited for that. Everyone's favorite cartoons together in one rare collection. Hours of fun for the whole family. But... Now I just got to find volume two. So, super <laughs> excited for that one. Next one. Oh, we got a snapper. We got a snapper, for sure. And uh, <laughs> it's a brand new factory sealed snapper. I've seen this movie a long time ago. I really do not remember it. I haven't seen it. It is Lady Hawk with um, Michelle Pfeiffer and Matthew Broderick. And... Uh, it looks like Rucker Howard also. I see him on the back picture. But I don't remember this movie. Like I said, it'll be nice to revisit it and to find it brand new factory sealed for fifty percent off also. When you said that, all I heard in my all I heard in my head was, I see him in the back picture. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm kinda of cracking up. But uh I was like I said, I was super excited for it. And 
it looks pretty cool. Like I said, there's the back right there. It's uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. It's a creepy face on the front, though. Oh, yeah. Next one. I love documentaries, and I like music. So I had to pick this one up. I actually saw this on Amazon Prime, and it was Metallica's Some Kind of Monster. Two thumbs up of cinematic gold. I, I wouldn't say that. But it's a, a decent documentary. It's when they made, if I remember right, the Load album. And it was... Uh, was Load? No, it wasn't Load. Because uh, Jason Newstead already left the band. This was when... Uh, Don't ask me. Yeah. This is when they made uh, Death Magnetic. There we go. And uh, James uh, Jason Newstead, the bassist, left the band. And they got Robert Trujillo. Trujillo? Robert Trujillo? You, let's just say Robert. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> From uh, Suicidal Tendencies and Ozzy's band to be Are the bass player. Uh, a little bit. Don't touch it. Yeah, I won't. But super excited to have this one now. So I'll check it out soon. You usually only drop the three days. Exactly. Oh. This one, Upgrade. It's a Blu-ray. <clears throat> and it was an upgrade for me. I had this on DVD. And I decided for 50% off, I'm going to upgrade it to Blu-ray. And that is the Italian job on Blu-ray. Like I said, this has uh, Mark Wahlberg. It has Charlize Theron, Edward Norton, Jason Statham, Donald Sutherland. I like Kiefer, uh, Kiefer's uh, Mark, dad. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Kiefer. Oh, oh yeah. I love 24. It's my favorite. But uh, I wanted to upgrade this one. So my DVD will be going up for sale on Macari. That's a good one. Payback is the payoff. Yep. Wow. I love this. They put a lot of thought into that one. When those Mini Coopers yeah. first came out and they were in these in these uh, movies, I was like, man, I'd like to get one of those just to bebop around on the weekends. Yeah. But excited for that one. This one I picked up for the sole purpose of it had a slip. Oh, jeez. And it was 50% off. I already have this movie in my collection. And it is Fight Club. With the slip. On Blu-ray, and this is the gated slip, as you can see right there. Oh, fancy. So, this, I already have it in my collection. So, I picked it up for if anybody wants it. It's going to be on the Macari page if anybody's interested. And like I said, I already have it in my collection. So, this will be going up for sale. Quick little slip. This one, I have to double check. This might be going up for sale on Macari. If anybody's interested in it. Leave a comment down below or um, there'll be links in the description for my Macari page and for my Instagram. Um, you know, leave me a message that you're interested in this if it's up for sale because I have to check. But it is The Freshman with Matthew Broderick and uh, Marlon Brando and it's brand new factory sealed. I think I have this on a multi-feature set. But I have to check. All my multi-features are right in front of me. But I have to double check to make sure. I'm... Doesn't hurt to double check, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, once I once I find out. If, it, if I have it on a multi-feature set. I'm just going to keep it like that. And I'm going to sell this one. But, you know, for, for uh, saving space. But if anybody's interested in it, like I said. Got a brand new. Yeah. Got to do the rub. But. I love that movie. That's a great movie. This one. Oh, look at that title. The cover alone and the name alone is what sold That looks me. cool. And I had to pick it up. And that was Zombie Massacre 2. They're hungry for war. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, Reich of the Dead. So, <laughs> like I said, when I saw that cover art and I saw the name, I was like, I have to pick it up. I don't own the first one, but... At least I have the second one in my collection. And if I ever find the first one, I can watch them. But until then, this will sit on the shelf and wait. But at <laughs> least I have it now. That's cool. Yeah. Next one. I don't own this movie. I used to. But not any. Uh, I didn't anymore. So I had to pick this one up. Because I like rom-coms. He does. And this was brand new factory sealed as well. And that is The Wedding Planet with Matthew McConaughey and J-Lo. Like I said, brand new factory sealed. It's a good cast. Yeah. 
It's a decent rom com. It's a pretty much it's a popcorn rom com. Matthew yeah. McConaughey's in a few other films that I like. Is he in Forgetting Sarah Marshall? No. No. But okay. he's in. I forget. He's in a ton of movies. Yeah. I can go on and on, but he does a, a lot of good movies, and like I said, him and uh, J Lo together in this movie. I wanted to pick it up. There you go. This one I've I've been on, wanted to buy it for a while. I remember seeing that at Target, and for the movie, I I looked at it as I wasn't going to pay more than five bucks for it. So I was just waiting until I found the Blu-ray for five bucks, and I haven't yet. Because so you found the DVD. Yeah, found the DVD for fifty percent off at Savers, and it was Detroit. Like it was I said, like a dollar then. It was a a dollar fifty. A doll hair. Yeah, and a doll hair fifty. A doll hair and a half. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I, I stole decided, that line from somebody. I decided I was going to pick this one up and uh, add it to the collection. Like I said, I was really interested in this, and you know, I like these style films: hardcore masterpiece, powerful. But I wanted to pick it up, check it out. Like I said, if I like it, I'll upgrade it to Blu-ray. If I don't. It won't make the bookcase, or it'll make the, or it's good enough to make the bookcase, but it stays on DVD. We'll see what happens. Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. Oh, look at this one. I, again, love documentaries, and this is a, a Nat Geo three disc set, and it is great mystery classics. And I thought this one was really cool. This one had uh let me see if it says it on the discs. I used to love watching oh, yeah. uh, Animal Planet and the History Channel whenever it came on TV when I yeah. was younger. This one has Finding Jack the Ripper. Um, is it the uh, is it real the Bermuda Triangle? This two has Vanishing from Alcatraz and Finding Anastasia, and this three has Where's Amelia Earhart. That's so. cool. The disc art looks the same as the cover art. Yeah, it's exactly the same. But that's super cool. Like I said, anything Nat Geo, I'm going to pick it up if I don't have it. Because I love documentaries. And Nat Geo and uh, Discovery and the History Channel and the Learning Channel. Back in the day, they were actually all good before they became... I watched Animal Planet, I think, more yeah, than anything, though. <laughs> before they became uh, reality TV garbage. But yeah, any kind of documentary, I'm going to pick it up. Every day, all day. They seem to went extinct. Yeah. This I picked up for my collection for now. Because I'm going to probably go after the um, Alfred Hitchcock 15 movie uh, Blu-ray box set that's coming out October 1st. Spoiler. Spoiler. It's but, an Alfred Hitchcock. But uh, for right now, I decided I'm going to pick this up. And it is... Uh, Alfred, Hitch Alfred Hitchcock, The Legend Begins, 20 movie collection. And this wow. is on four discs, as you can see right there. That's a thick one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's an it's a Mill Creek release. I tried. This has, uh, I'm going to read the back off because it's so small, I can't see it. Oh, these little things. Yeah. Alfred Hitchcock presents the shanty vase. Uh, oh, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, Blackmail, Champagne, Easy Virtue, The Farmer's Wife, Jamaica Inn, Juno and the Paycock. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. The Lady Vanishes, The Lodger, The Man Who Knew Too Much, The Man X Man, Number 17. Rich and Strange, The Ring. Oh, that's a good movie. Oh, yeah. Seventy. Sabotage, Secret Agent, The Skin Game, The Thirty Nine Steps, Young and Innocent. Bonus features, fifty five minutes. Trailers in his career of Alfred Hitchcock. Thanks for letting me try to strain my eyes. Yeah, because I couldn't even see it at all. <laughs> but I decided I was going to pick this up. Like I said. Once uh, that box set comes out, that box set only has 15 films. So I might actually keep this also because some of the films that she named is not on that. 
but like Lady Vanishes, 39 Steps, I know those are on there. A couple of these, I think The Lodger as well is on there. Yeah, that is some small print. But it's... Like I, don't, I, said, I don't know if you showed the back or not. You no, probably did. I didn't. No. But like I said, yeah. for right now, I'm going to keep this. That's nice. It's the, it's the original Mill Creek style that they come in the paper sleeves and they're all stacked on the all inside. All that for a little over a dollar here? Yeah. This was, again, $1.50. Yeah. But, like I said, for right now, I'm going to keep this. And when I get that box set, this will sit next to it. Cool. Next. Oh. Little by little, as I find these, I've been picking them up. <laughs> because I want the, the box set, but I never find the box set. And this is Seinfeld Seasons 1, 2, and 3 different boxes but i've seen a few shows here and there it's good i love seinfeld right now in my collection i have season six is the only one i own Ooh, that's it so i'm a i'm a long way of completing it so right now i have one two and three i still need number four gap. yeah a little gap and a little gap after that but <laughs> little by little as i find them in mint shape I'll pick them up. These were mint. Every disc was mint, so. The boxes are nice as well. Yeah, so I was super excited to find those. Oh, boy. Uh, Did this next one come from uh, Down to Movie? No. This we didn't confuse from... the stacks? No. Oh, no, we just pulled them out of the box. Exactly. This one I found it at Savers. ABC I... Family. Oh, yeah, geez. ABC Family. The Sold. 25 Days of Christmas. We don't have it? Oh, and I saw this one, and it kind of worked because of where we live. I watch 25 Days of Christmas all the time on and it, So did I. And this is Christmas in Boston. As anybody that doesn't know, we live in Boston. Yeah. So when I saw this, this was super cool. And brand new factory sealed with a cool slippy. A nice slip with the same artwork underneath. But regardless, slip nevertheless. We'll be checking that out this week. But year. we'll be definitely checking this one out. Another one to add to the That's Christmas nice. collection. But super excited for that one. <clears throat> As I said earlier, I love musicals. And this is a great musical from, if I remember right, this is from the 80s. Yeah, 1985. I haven't seen it. I was, I was it. like a little toddler. <laughs> Jeez. But uh, no, some of the movies that I have are from the 40s and 50s. And I've seen them. And I wasn't even thought of yet. I don't even think my all... I think my dad was alive at that time. <laughs> know, but maybe. This one, I'm super excited to have. And it's a chorus line. This is a great film. If you like musicals, right here. Check this one out. This is a really good film, like I said, from the 80s. It's really an enormous, exciting, often inspired movie. So, like I said, I would highly check it out. And brand new factory seal to find that was super exciting this one oh yeah again christmas and had dudley moore and had john lithgow and right there on top of being christmas it sold me and it is santa claus the movie if i seen this i don't remember it but looking at dudley moore dressed as, an, as an elf on the back Right there. I think I saw this because I remember Dudley Moore dressed as an elf. But I don't remember this movie to save my life. So, time to rewatch it. Dude. Yeah. Definitely That's time to rewatch it. Like I said, it's 20th anniversary edition. That's cool. But it is, like I said, a nice... And this is a, an Anchor Bay release. So, Anchor Bay usually does horror. But super excited to have that one. Next one. Another Disney. This has uh, Anne Hathaway in it and Christopher uh, Gorham. And it is The Other Side of Heaven. I've never heard of this film. Nope. But by looking at Anne Hathaway, it probably looks right around um, maybe um, Princess Diary Days. Oh, I was just going to say it, but I wasn't sure. That's funny. A film that wins over... Uh, a film that wins you over good storytelling. But 
I decided I'm going to pick this up. Like I said, it was Disney. I like Disney films. It looks interesting. So, like I said. It says, like, Treasure of Magic Kingdom. It hasn't sold yet. <laughs> it's still good. But, mm. yeah. I decided I'm going to check it out. See what it's all about. Next one. This is a funny one. This one, I like I said, I picked it up over a month ago. I've been wanting to rewatch this. Marie's never seen it. No. And what was funny was was uh, Xteen messaged me, I think sometime this week, and she says, Hey, have you ever seen this movie? It's a great musical. I used to watch it all the time as a kid. And I'm like, funny you should ask. <laughs> because, yes, I have seen it. And B, it's going to be in this week's video. I bought it over a month ago. And that is... Meet Me in St. Louis with Julie Garland. And this came, comes Dorothy. In, yeah, this comes in a nice box set. This is the two disc special edition. Oh, wow. I'll open it up and show you. But this thing is in mint. I mean, mint shape. Whoever had this never opened it. So, mm. like I said, I, when I saw this, I dove, dove, dove at it. So, That's classic. Oh, yeah. This is a, a classic, classic movie. So, super excited to have this one. Like I said, this is a great movie. You have to watch it. It's charming. So, and warm. Oh, yeah. A and movie. Be going. A movie from one before I was born. And I've seen it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> like I said, I highly recommend checking this one out. If you've never seen it. Stop what you're doing. Find it. Pick it up. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Bye. Oh. And, uh, watch it. I highly recommend it. Xteen recommends it also. Next one. I bought this to flip. So if anybody's interested in it... Here you go. Here you go. It'll be on my Macari store. It's Christmas. Yeah. Down in the description will be, uh, um... A link to my Macari store. I'm not a fan of this show. It's don't, Disney. Yeah. Don't unsubscribe. But I'm not a fan. Uh, and it is Disney's Phineas and Ferb. A very Perry. The disc is in super shape. But I'm not a Phineas and Ferb fan. It's way before. Uh, way after. My prime of. Uh, watching films like this. To get in it. You know, when I was not even a kid, when I was in my 20s, I liked Dog, Our Real Monsters, Rugrats. Oh, yeah, the Nick. Yeah, all the, the Nick morning ones. You know, I used to like watching those. And then Looney Tunes before that and, you know, Flintstones and Hanna-Barbera and all that. This is like... Way after. Way after. This, the SpongeBob's, meh. It's, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. But if anybody's interested in it, let me know. I'll give you a better deal than what I have it on there for. This lovely Christmas red case. Yeah. With Christmas very, coming. Very Christmas. With Christmas coming, it's a, a nice stocking stuffer for somebody that wants it in their collection. Or enjoys all Christmas. Yeah. Um, these I'm going to burn through quick because I got these for my son. And. Patrol. Yeah. I look Patrol. at it as if I'm going to watch <laughs> stuff with my son. I'm going to get stuff that is not going to kill me. <laughs> and it is... The first one I got for him was Nickelodeon's Puppy Palooza with Paw Patrol. So I decided I'll pick this one up. Oh, it's actually Paw Patrol. Yeah, I forgot. Paw Patrol. So I decided I'll pick this one up for him so he could watch it. It's easier to say Paw Patrol, though. Yeah. Next one is Reading Rainbow. How was that made? I decided I'll pick this one up. It has two episodes. It has uh, Archibald Frisbee and... Alistair's Time Machine. Yeah, Alistair's Time Machine. Cool. So, decided I'll pick that one up for him. Next one. Oh. We're on the... Patrol. Yeah, on the pot, uh, Patrol. <laughs> and this one came with a nice slip. I and love it this. Is, and it's slip. Christmas. Bonus, it it's Christmas. 
Pups Save Christmas. This looks cute. I, I like that slip. With a nice slip. And a nice dark blue case. But, like I said, to find that one for him with Christmas coming, I was happy to get it. What was the price on the top? $10. Somebody paid $10 for it? Yeah. $10 at Walmart. Mm. I'm sorry. But, uh, this one, Jim Henson's Presents, I had to pick it up. This will not be for my son. This will go into our collection. But it is Kermit's the Swamp Years. It's got a poppy on the front. I've never heard of this film. If you ever have or know anything about it, leave a comment down below. It's got a boatload of special features. Yeah. Blooper reels, bonus trailers, animated menus. With special features Bunch of like stuff. yeah, with special features like that, you have to buy it. It's brand new. Somebody was excited to have that in their collection. His they didn't even watch it. Yeah, his two true story, warts and all. Aww. But decided, you know, I'm going to pick a stuff for the collection. Like she said, brand new factory sealed. So super excited for that one. I'm so more excited over that Paw Patrol slip. This Paw one, Patrol. I got it for my son. Unless it, unless this is out of print and it goes for some money, then it won't be going in my son's collection. But uh, it is Disney's Quack Pack Volume 1. Like I said, it was mint. I decided I'll pick it up for my kid. But like I said, if this goes for a little bit of money and it's out of print, then it'll be going in my collection and he's not putting his hands on it. Mm -hmm. But uh decided I'll pick this one up. Get your peanut butter and jelly hands off my DVDs. Yeah. This one I got for my son. Oh, Ebu. Yeah. Ebu. As he, as, uh, that's what he calls them. He just got the boots of the cat in the hat, though. Yeah. <laughs> but it is Sesame Street's Elmo and Friends Tales of Adventures. Three incredible stories. My son loves Elmo. Yes, he does. So, I decided All day. I'll pick this one up. <laughs> For him to enjoy. Like I said, it comes in a nice green case. Oh, but yeah. to find it 50% off, I was happy. And then the last two things I picked up are VHS. I don't pick up a lot of VHS. The only VHS I pick up is stuff that... You can't get on DVD or Blu-ray. Exactly. I'll pick up the VHS. Or I'll pick up the VHS when it's something... You don't want to pay like 60 bucks for it. Yeah. That it is way out of print, and I can find the VHS, I'll pick it up. But besides that, I don't pick up a ton of VHS anymore. But these two I had to pick up because... They, they just look cool. Yeah, and I don't know if these ever came out on DVD. I've never heard of them. So I decided I'll pick them up, and that is... Disney's. Walt Disney's Limited Gold Edition 2 Cartoon Classics. And this has... Donald B. Pictures. Like I said, in a nice gold case. These are mint. And like I said, I've never heard of this or yeah. seen them. So I decided I'm going to pick them up and add them to my collection. These comes in a nice, big, thick clamshell. Oh, boy. You got a thick one. Yeah. I got a thick one right there. You got another so, one. And then the other one is another limited gold edition, and that is Life with Mickey. I love how it says VHS on the bottom in small letters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny. But, like I said, I never heard of either one of these. Those I are don't, like mint cases. Yeah, I don't know if these were ever released on DVD. If they were, leave me a comment down below. Let, Let me know. Let us know. We don't know. Because I'm really curious. I've like never I said, seen them before. So I decided I'm going to pick them up and add them to the collection. They look classic. And that is everything that I got from Savers. Uh, the next thing is... I got something in the mail from eBay. Yeah. Marie bought me this from eBay. Spoiler. And... If it's for you, it's no Bambi. No. <laughs> she bought it for me. She goes, oh, I bought you a gift because it's been driving her nuts. Really? And me, I'm not a slip Nazi. Marie is a little bit of a slip Nazi because she loves her Bambies with slips if they come with slips. Oh, yes. And when she was looking at my 3D collection, 
seeing what I have, looking online for stuff. Because she's my reference when I'm at work. Always looking online for 3Ds. It's yeah. staring at me all the time. Yeah. And naked, it, without a slip. And it's driving her nuts because we have all the other ones with slips except for this one. So I she bought a decided, piece of cardboard for $5. Yeah, so she bought a piece of cardboard for $5. I'm if sorry. she would have paid more than 5 I would have killed her. If I would have paid more than $5, I would have told him to forget. But uh, it is... Have the envelope too. I'll do the envelope too. There you go, Lewis. And here is. How do you do? <laughs> cars, slipcover. For the 3D. Yeah. You left out the best part. I was gonna say that last. Oh. The ultimate collector's edition. That is and a like hard I one said, to find. It is just a slipcover. The guy actually had the movie with the slipcover for a good amount of money, and she says. I just want the cardboard. Please. I just want the cardboard. Will you sell me just the cardboard? He goes, okay. He goes, okay, five bucks good. She goes, I'll buy it. So she okay. bought a piece of cardboard, just the cardboard, for five bucks. For a 3D. So. For a 3D. So now all of my cars, my cars one, two, and three, all have the slips. Cars three isn't in 3D, though, because it's a UK release. Yeah, but I still have it's it with okay. the slip. It's nice to see it in a row now. Yeah, but now I just got to find... Toy Story 1 with the slip because I have Toy Story 1, 2, and 3 and <laughs> the first one is the only one that doesn't have a slip. I mean, anyway. Next thing is something that Marie bought. And if you know what Marie collects. You know what's in the box. Here you go. Envelope, I said box. Miss. <laughs> and it is there you go. You can hold it up for me there. Bambi 2 on DVD. I bought it for the case because at the bottom it says Blockbuster. Yeah. And if you open it up, it says Blockbuster on the inside of that plastic case. Yeah. And that was the only reason she bought it. I bought an $8 piece of plastic. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry. We already have this movie in the collection. With slip. With slip. Sealed. Brand new. Without slip. If you go on Instagram, you can see my up-to-date Bambi collection on yeah. there. Yeah, she, she uh, put all 45 titles that she owns. Uh, uh, this one's already in it, so it was a spoiler if you already seen all my posts. Yeah, this is number 45. But she had to buy it because of, the sticker. Because of that Blockbuster sticker that says Bambi. I couldn't find it. it in the large VHS uh, clamshell. Yeah. clamshell set. White with the blue blockbuster thing. So yeah. I'm like, okay, this will do. So I thought it was neat. I like yeah, it. To have it with the blockbuster sticker that says Bambi in a blockbuster case. It's pretty cool. So And the case on the inside. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be new. Exactly. It's a blockbuster. So it's added to the collection. I'd say ninety six percent of my Bambi's are factory sealed. Yeah. It's only a couple of oddballs. Something like that, you're never going to find brand new factory seal no. because it's pretty much in a rental case. And then the next box. Here, you want to rent this? You can't watch it. <laughs> exactly. This came from J2H. And I forgot what it is actually in it because I think I got it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, let me open it up and then I can actually tell you what it is. <laughs> Yeah, we paper. have paper and a box and a big lost bag. Okay, now I'm starting to remember. Okay, yeah, I remember now. We got some Blu-rays and a DVD. Uh, two Blu-rays, two DVDs. Did I just... N no spoiling. Did I just see a certain word? Uh, maybe. But um, J2H <laughs> was at Big Lots when Big Lots was having their uh, buy one, get one, 50% off for Labor Day. And he says, hey, Joe, there was, there's two, there was two 3Ds that I was looking for. I'll give you a small spoiler. One of them is here. The other one, Rick has it for me, and he's going to be shipping it to me. But not yet. But uh, this one, he found it. And he says, you still need it? I said, yes, I yes. do. Can uh, you send it my way? So he threw it in a box and sent it my way. And that is Paranormal Activity Ghost Dimension in 3D. Brand new, factory sealed, from Blockbuster. Uh, Blockbuster. We're talking about Blockbuster. <laughs> from Big Lots. You're so excited. 
He, so, he's very excited. Yeah, it's 3D. To get this I'm trying not to drop it. it. I'm gripping it with the death grip. But super excited to have this one in the collection. Clearly, he is. <laughs> out, out of all the paranormal activity movies, this is the only one I have not seen yet. I've because, seen them all, too, except for that one. Yeah. And I decided I wasn't going to watch it until I found the three. I enjoyed them all because they're like creepy, real. Yeah. Like, so. They seem it. Happy to have that one in the collection. Oh, he is very excited. Thank you. And then the last three titles he found at Goodwill for me. He went to Goodwill in Michigan and he was snapping some pictures and I saw three titles I wanted. One of them being a, a Blu-ray, two being a DVD, and I asked him if he could scoop them up for me. And then the first one is, because I like Based on True Stories. Oh, you love Based on True Stories. It is Breakthrough with probably nobody I know. Josh Lucas, <laughs> Topher Grace <laughs> is in it. Um, like Marcel no. Roos. But an ex mm. inspiring film for the whole family. But super excited to have that one on Blu-ray. So, added that one to the collection. Nice artwork. This one, I heard it was hot trash. And... It's a reverse get out. Ooh. Uh, down to movie, a.k.a. Rick, saw this in theaters and he said this movie is garbage. I believe and, Rick would say hot trash, though. Yeah, he would say hot trash. <laughs> but this actually, this movie came out, and a week later, J2H found it at Goodwill. Oh, Shocking. It was that good, huh? It was that good that <laughs> it went from, a, it, somebody watched it, and it automatically went to Goodwill. And it is The Intruder on DVD. But the back says one of the best suspense thrillers ever. The original Intruder. From the 80s, I would say is one of the best suspense thrillers ever. Let me just add that to my list to watch. I don't own it. Oh. What? I don't have it. Oh, okay. I have to get it. That's okay. But, uh, I have a few other things to watch. Trust me. The remake of The Intruder, you know, I found he found it for three bucks. So I told him, I said, for three bucks, grab it for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll check it out. And to Ooh, me, he's got an alternate ending, deleted scenes, and, and an alternate scene and gag reel. Ooh. So I decided That's cool. I'm gonna pick it up, watch it. To me, I'll probably never buy this on Blu ray because it, to me, it's not gonna be Blu ray worthy if it's as bad as everybody says it is. Next one, as people know, if they watch my Down the Movie video, I love Christmas. This is the hot subject. Another Christmas movie for the collection. It's All She Wants for Christmas. Is something not Christmas movie. Yeah. No. This, uh, it's, uh, it's probably this a guy. holiday season, Love Conquers All. I it's probably a guy. Yeah. I like those films, though. I like Christmas movies. And like I said, it's kind of weird how many Christmas, well, it's not even, it's Christmas season is coming. It's like 108 days away. You but, got a bunch uh, of them. Yeah, so right now Christmas movies are starting to flood in uh, stores. And as I find them, I've been picking them up. So super excited to have this one in the collection. So thank you, J2H, for picking those up for me. In the description down below will be a link to J2H's Instagram as well as his, as his YouTube. He's only like 40 subscribers away from hitting 1,000 subs. So... Please, you know, go check him out. Check him out. Give him uh, a sub. Give him some likes. Hit that notification bell. Check out his stuff. Try to get him to a thousand subs. Like I said, in the description. And the last package right here is from Mr. Lewis Switcher. We thought it was something that we ordered because it didn't have his address on it. Yeah, it just had... So we it packed it open. Yeah, it didn't say it came from Lewis. It had my name and where it came from. But I didn't know that Lewis got this for me. And then uh, he told me that he sent me something. And when I opened it up... You literally said, holy... <laughs> yeah, uh, a bunch of expletives <laughs> just started flashing out of my mouth. 
No, he didn't. And I was just like, I don't believe that he bought me this. So I messaged him and he says, you know, it's a consider a, a belated birthday gift. So he bought me this as a, a late birthday gift. And like I said, I really appreciate it. It blows my slip cover out of the water. Yeah. But this He's is. He's very happy to have this. That was nice. That was a, a nice, that was a nice like toss. Worthy. That was a, a toss for you, Lewis. But this movie, back in the day, I loved. I still love, love, love this movie. I haven't seen it. It is. <laughs> if they still made comedies like this, I would still like comedies. But comedies nowadays just have no soul. They went down so. Oh, yeah. This movie, I loved it so much. And this little bit of side story fun fact. fun fact about myself besides your favorite color is black and you like uh musicals yeah texas chainsaw and christmas okay, but and christmas. fun fact is don't leave out christmas this movie means a lot to me because this was the only movie i ever saw at the theaters with my dad so it's a special movie for me but um i'm happy to have it in the collection so Thanks a lot, Lewis, for that one. I really appreciate that. Brand new. Nice. Yeah, so super excited. I'll have to bump that one up on the list to watch. But that is everything that I got this Thanks week. for sticking through all the titles. Yeah. That's it for now. Yeah. So. Yeah. If you like this video, <laughs> hit the like button. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you didn't like it. I'm sorry. How can you not like me? If you didn't like it, hey, sorry. We'll try again. And, uh... We'll leave his, uh, <laughs> link in the description down below, Lewis Switcher. And we'll also, um, mention X-Team Featurette. She's awesome. She's got some fun videos, too. We do, uh, some box swaps. So, yeah. look for those on their channel and our channel. Yep. And until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Cut. I need a tissue. Yeah, I do. Oh, was I holding that in?